to another trip report. I'm looking forward to this one today. Today I'm flying Hawaiian Airlines in business class to Tokyo. So hopefully it'll be a good flight with some interesting service. I'm really curious to see what the service is like compared to their usual flights between the mainland and Hawaii. So uh, let's go check it out. Thanks for joining me. I started my adventure today in downtown Waikiki. I paid $8 for a shuttle bus to take me to the airport as it can actually be quite expensive to reach the airport. When I arrived at the airport I was happy to see a priority check-in desk for business class passengers flying on Hawaiian Airlines which really did help and speed up the process. It also came with a fast track TSA card which really really helped as look at the TSA lines here, they were just massive. Today's flight would be just under 9 hours and just under 4,000 miles in distance. I have to say that I do love the airports in Hawaii. You're basically outdoors but indoors at the same time and it just gives a really nice fresh feel when staying in the airport with some wonderful views of the airplanes. Now even though I'm flying international business class, this lounge is also used by first class passengers flying back to the mainland. So the food and drink selection is pretty much like any domestic US airport. Some sandwiches, crisps, couple of cans of beer and some wine. So no way you'd want to spend too much time. Today I would be flying the Airbus A330 which Hawaiian uses on its long haul flights and also on domestic flights. The seats on the A330s were only introduced in 2016 and are quite modern. They are set out in a 2-2-2 configuration with 18 flatbed seats in the cabin. I think these seats were mainly designed with couples travelling on vacation in mind but they are pretty comfortable. Today I will be sitting in window seat 3F. I found the seats to be quite modern and well updated. The only thing I did notice was the missing in-flight entertainment screen. But the seats are spacious and do provide lots of legroom and storage space for you to use during the flight. The cabin is quite bright with mainly tones of brown, sky blue and white all mixed in. And you definitely won't be uncomfortable during your flight. You have a pillow, a mattress pad, a duvet cover and also another pillow as well which is pretty impressive. USB charge points can be found at every seat. And slippers provided on my flight today along with my welcome Mai Tai drink. And here's a quick look at the menu on my flight today from Hawaii to Japan. For my flight today I used 42,500 AA Advantage miles and paid $5.60 in tax, so a real good deal. We departed 10 minutes late today and cruised our way up through the clouds and we're soon at cruising altitude on our way to Japan. The captain made an announcement right at the start of the flight that most likely with good weather we would be arriving one hour early. As soon as we passed 10,000 feet the crew kicked into action and handed out bottles of water. They then also brought around individual iPads to all business class customers as the seats don't feature any IFE. Now the iPads are pretty good, they have a good quality screen but the only problem is for a long flight like this as you can see the entertainment was fairly limited to 6 films and 5 TV shows so you can get through it quite quickly. Before the main service got started I quickly checked out the cleanness of the bathroom and it was pretty nice with some flowers inside as well. The seats also feature a pull up divider which can separate you from the passenger next to you. And your tray table is just located in the side of your seat which is fairly easy to pull out. You are also provided an amenity kit which features all of the usual items that you need during a long flight like this. Next hot towels were handed out before my macadamia nuts and another Mai Tai arrived to keep me entertained. Today's starter was a tomato and cucumber salad and I can definitely say this was the most interesting tomato salad I've ever had. For my main meal today I decided to go with the chicken spiced five ways with coconut and ginger rice with some vegetables on the side. It actually tasted really good and it tasted a lot better than it looked. I accompanied my meal with the Cabernet Sauvignon red wine which was actually from California. And to finish I had the pineapple and blueberry pie which also came with the option of tea or coffee to enjoy with it. I found that the amount of food served during this flight was fairly adequate. I wasn't hungry and I wasn't over full at all and the service received by the crew was really attentive and they were all very very friendly. 
Now, as I said before, all of the seats do go into the fully flatbed position. I didn't really have the chance to try out the bed because it was a daytime flight, but I'm sure with the mattress pad and the duvet and all of the blankets that come with it, it would be a very, very comfortable bed. I found the journey had been very comfortable so far and I had really been enjoying my time with Hawaiian Airlines. Midway during the flight they offer a range of snacks for crisps and cookies are given out and also another drink. So I went with some pineapple juice this time around. The Hawaiian Airlines route network is a lot bigger than I imagined it being. They actually support about 60 aircraft and fly to 28 destinations at the time of this video. So for such a small group of islands it's really impressive with the wide network they have. Just to put that in perspective for you, Hawaiian Airlines actually have a bigger fleet than Virgin Atlantic. As we cruised along, I was treated to a very enjoyable sunset before being treated to the next round of food shortly after in the flight. The light meal before the arrival was the shaken beef sandwich. Pretty much just a beef sandwich served with some fruit on the side. It was okay, the beef was a little bit chewy, but it was perfectly okay for the light snack that it was. And then just before arrival, everyone is given some cookies from the Honolulu Cookie Company. We touched down in Tokyo really far ahead of schedule and arrived 54 minutes early, which is always fantastic. And it was great to fly with Hawaiian Airlines today on this route. I in Tokyo and I had a really great flight with uh, Hawaiian Airlines. Uh, even though they're a US airline, it seems like they actually care and they provide a much better service than all the other mainline US carriers. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you again next Sunday.